Uh-huh. Hey, hey, it's cooking. Okay. What's up, too? Or what how it looking, you know what I'm saying? That's where we was at, man. Me, my brother, my sister. We all stayed in this hole, man. You know what I'm saying? We made it do what it do, man, in this hole. That's where my kids used to play and shit, man. I... But anyway, this the building, 2217, man. North Bell Avenue, then Texas, bro. I used to stay in this top right, like right here in front of you, you know what I'm talking about? But anyway, right there, man, y'all keep being right there. That hoe, they done built that hoe, that hoe back in action, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all what happened though, bro. So, one day, you know, I'm doing my thing chilling, you know what I'm saying? And I happened to meet a female on, I think I met her on Facebook or something like that, bro. But anyway, man. She was feeling your boy, man. We chopped it up, man. You know what I'm saying? And we point, she playing a little date with your boy, bro. All right, she pulled up and she picked me up. And uh, man, it was throw. She pulled up, bro, came and got me, opened the door. I opened the door, she got flowers in the in the, uh, the passenger sheet and everything. You know what I'm saying? It was throw, bro. No bullshit, first date, no cow. So. Boom. We go to fucking Dave and Buster's, man. And um, we in there, we in there, you know, chopping it up, doing the date shit, you know what I'm saying? So, we in there chilling, and we in there, this is when uh, them Bud Light Platinums had just came out, bro. Like, they wasn't, they ain't just came out, they had just kind of hit the streets, you know what I'm saying? They were, they were hot, though. So, boom, we drinking them. So, uh, yeah, man, me and the chick, we had Dave and Buster's, bro. This is when Bud, like, Platinum's was hot in the streets, nigga. We in there chilling, man. And she, uh, she reaching her purse while we drinking and eating and shit. And, uh, she popped out some pills, you know what I'm saying? And they was like, uh, and she had took, like, two or three of them. I think she had took, like, one or two of them bitches, you know what I'm saying? And... I'm looking over there and I'm like, what the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? What the hell are you over there doing? She was like, oh, this is my medicine. And I'm like, what is they? I'm like, what are they? You know what I'm saying? And she was like, uh, they they Xanax, you know what I'm saying? They time release, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, bitch, whatever. I'm like, man, shit, told me one of the bitches. You know what I'm saying? So me being me, of course, I told, throw me one. You know what I'm saying? And that happened to be like, I told her to throw me like two or three of them bitches. She gave me like two or three. And I had fucked around and took them bitches, y'all, man. I fucked up and took them, y'all. I did that. All right? So, boom. But they were time release, whatever the fuck that mean, bro. I didn't really feel them at that point in time. You know what I'm saying? We drinking the beers, chilling, whatever, man. She dropped me off, you know what I'm talking about? She dropped me off at the house, bro. And um, I go in the house, man. My brother in that hoe, he in there chilling, you know what I'm saying? I go in my room and shit. And um, I think my brother, he had hit my room. He was like, hey, bro, I'm finna dip, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna do this and that. I'm like, all right, bet. So uh, shit, some time passed, like 30 minutes passed. I'm sitting in the room. And um, I, I had got hungry, you know what I'm saying? I hit the fucking kitchen. And uh. I turned the stove on, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna warm up some damn grease to warm up some motherfucking food, you know what I'm saying? I'm warming up grease. I go back in the room, you know what I'm saying? And that's all she wrote, man. Why the fuck I do that, man? I had no idea, bro. I let the damn stove run, you know what I'm saying? That grease caught fire, you know what I'm saying? And burned every fucking thing down, man. I'm talking about everything, y'all, bro. And uh, by the time I woke up, man, it was pitch black in the apartment, man. I couldn't see, damn near couldn't breathe, man. Like, it was a matter of seconds or minutes, man, before I had to get up out of here, right down here, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's walk down there again, hold up.
Yeah, so boom, you know what I'm saying? I'm right here. This is like my room right here, y'all. You feel me? So, the whole kitchen is on fire, bro. The apartment is basically burning down while I'm just now waking up, realizing what in the hell going on. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. Uh, my shit on fire. I tried to turn the, I hop up. It's pitch black. I can barely breathe. I tried to touch, hit the light. You know what I'm saying? That hell wouldn't come on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shit, just luckily, I've been here a couple years to where I kind of knew where shit was at. And I kind of ran to the window, you know what I'm saying? I finally lift the window up. And uh, my neighbor right here, he was, uh, he was a nigga from New Orleans, man. Shout out to my bro, man. I think his name was D, man. Shout out to bro, man. He was trying to kick the dough down and shit. Then I heard him down here. He was down here, like where this car is right here. He, jump, Ken Folk, jump, jump. And I'm like, hell no, nah, I'm not jumping for shit. You know what I'm saying? I've got my head out. And just so happened, man, by that time, man, the fire department came in and came and got me and shit rescued your boy, man. But yeah, they had the whole, like the whole neighborhood blocked off, the street blocked off and everything, man. No cap, man, that shit was a movie, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I want to make this, I want to say sorry to my bro and sis, you know what I'm saying? Cause after I did that, man, we had to, you know what I'm saying? Fend for ourselves, you know what I'm saying? For real, bro. We had to shake back, but. Yeah, man, after that day, bro, it was never Xanax again, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the lesson up out of this. For any kids watching this, bro, please just dr say no. try to say no to drugs. I know how it is, man, in these streets. You know what I'm saying? But for sure, Xanax, man. Like, do not ever fuck with no Xanax, man. For real, bro. For real, man. Them hoes dangerous, man. You, You'll forget everything. You'll be, you'll be in a world of trouble and not even know it by the time you wake up, man. For real, bro. And that's what happened here, man. That shit was like 2016, 17, I'd say maybe, maybe 16. No, nah, it was a little earlier than that. A little earlier than that, but yeah, man. That shit crazy. I just want to give y'all a little, little memory lane story, bro. That shit though, bro. But anyway. Yeah, my homeboy D stayed up there. You from New Orleans. My racist ass. Let me tell you how this too. The girl that stayed next to us, I want to say. Look, she was a Mexican chick. You know what I'm saying? She was all right too. And she stayed next to me for, for like the whole time. Damn near I stayed here. You know what I'm saying? And I never shot at her, bro. Now, of course, me being a nigga, hell yeah, I would have knocked her off, bro. But I always thought. My racist ass, y'all, didn't think she spoke no English, fam. No cap. And then come to find out, like some years later, I actually chopped it up with her, you know what I'm saying? And she spoke English probably better than me and and like black dudes. And I like, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> My stupid ass, bro. That's what I get, bro, you know what I'm saying? So don't judge a book by its cover, my nigga, for real. And don't pop Zans, bro. But anyway, yeah, but anyway, man, <laughs> that shit was dope, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. My nigga Renzo stayed like right through that way. If you see that motorcycle through that alley, through them, right through that fence, my nigga Renzo stayed there. Shout out Renzo. That was my boy, man. We used to chop it up all the time, man. But that shit throw, man. Hell yeah, fool. Going on a date, fucking around with a chick, my nigga. And, Popping them fucking Zans, drinking and shit. Burnt myself out of whole apartment, my nigga. No cap, fam. You know what I'm saying? Been trying to shake back, do what it do. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm doing a whole YouTube channel and shit. So, we just growing as we go, man. You know what I'm saying? But y'all stay tuned. We got more. You know what I'm talking about? It's Cully. I'm gone.